click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the rate structure and improvement of reliability via redundancy. Here we will see that how redundant data can be implemented to precaution of a data loss and how it is implemented in the operating system itself. So the reliability via redundancy is done with mirroring and mirroring can be implemented in RAID arrays. So how it is done we will discuss today. As we know that now in a day of a modern operating system, the disk becomes smaller and cheaper. So it is very easy to add more disks to the operating system. Now adding to a number of disks in the operating system will result in that we can read and write to a data to very faster rate rather than a single disk operating system if all the disks operate parallelly. Another advantage is that by using the redundant information about a data can prevent us from a data loss. Even if a single disk fails, then other disk can be used for getting the data that is used by that single failed disk. So a special type of disk organization issues for this performance and reliability of that particular issue is known as redundant arrays of independent disk or rate structure. Previously, the rate was used for smaller and cheaper that is cost effective compared to the larger and expensive disks. But nowadays, rate is more used for this performance and reliability issue that is concerned as the biggest problem with an operating system's memory criteria. So now, it's become independent where in the rate the I was previously inexpensive. So now we will discuss about the improvement of reliability via the redundancy. In red structure, redundancy can be achieved within this reliability part by mirroring the disk. As we know that if there is a single disk, then the operating system is performing read and write on this disk. Suppose that the power gets off or any kind of failure occurs when the disk is being read. So the single disk failure will cause the data to be lost permanently if the disk gets damaged. So now if we use a redundancy as a solution to this problem of data lost, that means we are mirroring the disk, that is we are copying the disk from one to another and the content are being saved in the second on spare disk that is used as a redundant information. So these redundant disks are not used for normal operation, but they are set aside to kept for as a backup when the first disk get filled so that the device can get the data from that redundant disk. Say suppose the chance of getting a disk failure of some disk in a set of n disk is obviously lesser than a specific type of disk failure. The mean time to failure for a specific disk say is 1 lakh hours. Now if we considered a hundred disks of array and which is considered to be a set of disks get failure, then the mean time to failure will reduce to 1 lakh divided by 1000 that is equals to 100 hours. So now we can see that 1 lakh hours is reduced to 100 hours if several disks are being there. So if one of the disks get damaged, then other disks can be repaired to get out of this loss of data. So with mirroring, each logical block is associated with two physical blocks. Whenever there is a write to these physical blocks, they have to made it to the two. So the logical block is then copied to these two physical blocks and the resultant structure is known as a mirrored volume. So the data is lost only if the second disk is being read and written whenever the first peak is not repaired. So until and unless the first peak is repaired and the second is being used for the data for replacement, then the memory is in safe hand. Now when we are computing the mirror volume estimation of a failure, then the mean time to failure considered two parts. One is the mean time to detect, another in the mean time to repair. Save already we have discussed that mean time to failure is 1000 1 lakh hours. 
and the mean time to repair between these two is 10 to the power 6 seconds. So whenever we calculate that mean time to loss of data, here we are considering loss of data as a permanent data loss between the systems, is 1 lakh square divided by 2 into 10, that is equals to, for two flocks, which is 10 to the power 6 hours, which is equals to 57,000 years. But here we are considering that the data loss between two disks are independent of each other. But in most of the cases our operating system using two or more disks, the data lost is not independent of each other. Say for any power failure or any natural disasters like earthquake, flood or fire can cause the disk get damaged at the same time. In other cases, some form factory manufactured defect is by default there because the defect sets are coming in packs of a twice. So the defect sets are coming in pack of a twice. So in these cases, the data are not independent and the loss can be damaged at the both ends at the same time. So the natural disasters are not in issue for this frequently used, but for the power failure is generally an issue of regular of frequent use. So here that when a second read is being written and the first thing is being replaced and in that time the power failure occurs. So both the blocks are written at the same time. So both the blocks will be lost in data and remain in an inconsistent state. So here two solutions we can provide. One is to first read and write a block to the first physical data and next write the block to the next physical data. In this way, at least a physical block will be kept aside as in saved data, while can the second data can be failured. And the other is to add the NVRAM or a solid state non-volatile RAM to be a part of this swap space or the rate structure. As this NVRAM is not reliable and dependent on the port failure, that is it does not lose its contents even if the power gets failured or switched off. So this NVRAM can provide much faster access but is already inside this file system and the rate structure can implement it as it supports some kinds of error detection checking like ECC and also mirroring. So the rate structure can improve this reliability via the redundancy. So in this way, this NVRAM and this redundancy can provide reliability improvement over this RAID. Now as we can see when the disk ages, the chances of failure becomes greater because the disk can be wired out and cannot be replaced twice and thrice and more. In spite of these differences that it will be expensive to add more disks to this as an rate structure reliability redundancy, but we use mirroring as well as a first most effective usage of the rate structure to give the reliability specification because it is the only reason to get reliable that one disk is being copied to another to get safe out of the data loss. That is all for the improvement of reliability via redundancy. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.